Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marion and I'm your host today. Today we will cover some news from the Model Y in Giga Shanghai and we will look into the LFP batteries because breakthroughs have happened there and this is really exciting because it shows again that Tesla has been a first mover that gambled on the LFP batteries and it is paying off guys and this is going to be big for Tesla too when it comes to future production and cap capabilities of um, having a good battery in their cars. And we will go into detail about that right away. And if you subscribe my channel, you give me support for my work and I hope you follow me for my daily updates now. And don't forget to come back for another Tesla video as every single day I'm updating you about Tesla news. And let's start now. Yes, Tesla was the first mover. They actually took the gamble and the risk to go with the LFP batteries that everyone knew have not such a high density and the same problem in the winter time, they would um, charge, discharge really fast and the quality of these LFP batteries weren't as good. And just as a reminder from the entire battery capacity share worldwide, just 1% of L were LFP batteries last year. So now, just now, LFP batteries by capacity will take a big chunk of 18% of market share for the entire industry. So there's a lot that happened in the past 12 months and Tesla gambled with them. Everyone was watching. Tesla was the only one gambling and taking the risk and the risk is paying off because um, a lot of manufacturers in the LFP um, battery market have achieved better batteries, better density. And this is what um, Roskill analyst Kevin Chang has stating that the breakthrough happened that they were able to increase by a big margin the density of the LFP batteries. And not only Tesla is in, um, in there with their Tesla cars, especially with the Model 3 until now, no even Volkswagen is investing here and is trying to go with the LFP batteries. So again, let's go with that. What does this mean for Tesla? First of all, um, the good news is when we talk about the LFP batteries, as a reminder, it's cobalt free, which is really good because the cobalt prices have been rising tremendously in the past 12 months, especially as the demand for batteries and EVs has been increasing. So um, the issues with the lower density seem to be solved and, and with like with everything that is happening in the EV industry right now, batteries that might have been not the first choice um, get better and better because uh, money is invested into um, searching how to make these batteries better. And this is paying off here right now for Tesla as they are the first mover into these kind of batteries. Um, I'm not saying that no other company work with these LFP batteries, but just by the size and just by the name Tesla in the industry, no one else did that. And Tesla has now the advantage to work with these manufacturers together as they were a first mover and they will further expand that in China. Just as a reminder, these LFP batteries are only implemented in Teslas that are in China, not in the United States. These batteries were exported with the Model 3s to Germany and European countries so far. So it's not entirely in the entire company Tesla. It is just for the Giga Shanghai made cars. So this is really good news, guys. I'm really excited because not only are they cobalt free and they have managed to solve the issue with the density. No, they are also much cheaper. So this means Tesla is making much more money and can maybe even reduce prices based on that. So the, uh, the, the fear of having a um, yeah, lower quality battery in the cars and with that hurting the image that Tesla has built um, might be resolved. So we have seen that the first people in Germany or other European countries that received the LFP batteries um, a few months ago um, they have actually seen um, 
improvements in the performance of these batteries. So um, from the technolo technology point of view and from the updates that Tesla can do to improve the range and improve the car, they have managed already um, improving the issues with the LFP batteries. And I think this will just um, get better and better. So for those who are now buying a car, um, a Model 3 from Giga Shanghai, um, this is a really good choice to do and we could expect further breakthroughs and further um, improvement when it comes to the LFP batteries. So if you are thinking about buying a Tesla, I would actually consider waiting for another year. And I do believe, and it's not clear yet, how um, they're going to do that with the Model Y in China, if they would um, consider doing that. I just have the information, these batteries are inside the Model 3, but maybe correct me if I'm wrong here. Um, so this is really great news, guys. I love to hear that. And again, Tesla gambled and they are ahead of the game again, again, and again. So for the um, reports, for the quarter results, this means they have achieved here um, a battery that has good performance and we haven't really, we don't have to worry about the performance wise in the future. And this means the margins will get even better. They won't get better if they decrease the prices. Um, I mean, at the moment, I believe they rather decrease the prices and get even a bigger market share. So going to the um, Chinese market, and as we just mentioned, the Model Y, I'm going to the Model Y in Giga Shanghai. We do know that Tesla has ramped up and it's going really smoothly. We are not hearing any bad news so far. Um, the only thing that um, we have to consider are the numbers that we see. And the last number we have seen in one of my videos was the 4,600 cars um, produced and delivered in February. So if we consider 4,600 cars roundabout, um, this is a number that is um, just for the Chinese market right now compared to the Model 3 just for the Chinese market, 13 to 14,000 not talking about the cars that will be exported. So um, the Model Y still takes some time to get um, f faster ramp ups and go to levels like the Model 3. But just take in consideration, the Model Y had around 100,000 reservations. So just imagine this was during a 24 hours time span. And don't tell me there are no new reservations coming since that day. So we must have a really, really big backlog of reservation when it comes to the Model Y. So the ramp up should um, go pretty fast. And I do expect that by later the summertime, we will see monthly numbers of 10,000 and higher. If they are working really well in China and they have been always ahead of the game, they were always faster as expected. I could even imagine that in the summertime we meet, might see monthly numbers of around 12 to 15,000 China made Model Ys. I'm just, I don't know if they're gonna export them. It makes no sense because Giga Berlin will be um, working already in the summertime. But if they export only to other Asian countries or maybe Australia, um, but so far I believe they have so much demand in China, they will not export the Model Y. So for the Model 3, I think it is just playing out really well and they will further do that. Again, the ramp ups are happening here and I do expect a lot of great numbers coming from Giga Shanghai in the next few months, especially as we have now managed to go through the um, Chinese New Year. And despite that, we had great numbers already there. Furthermore, the website on Giga Berlin has changed. We have seen that um, the website is officially stating that the start of the production will be happening mid um, June, July. So if you order a Model Y now, you might expect to get it by August or something. And this is again um, yeah, supported by a um, meeting that has happened by a committee in infrastructure and regional planning um, where they have apparently discussed that Giga Berlin is starting at July, late August. So somewhere between that, there will be the time span. 
and um, I believe that the batteries will be exported from Fremont to Giga Berlin till they have their own production running over in um, Giga Berlin. So again guys, if you do enjoy my content, if you like what I was talking about, do consider subscribing.